Good evening. The annual meeting of the ECU Credit Union will come to order. Good evening, and welcome to the 57th annual meeting of our credit union. I'm Ken Banks. I'll be your master of ceremonies for this evening and by volunteer on the board of directors. Thank you for joining us this evening. And at this time, uh, would Chairman Steve Harris officially call this meeting to order. Mr. Chairman, we have determined that we have uh, the acquired minimum of 20 members in good standing in attendance. We do have a quorum. I would like to introduce the other board members, supervisory committee and transition committee and managers at this time. First of all, from the board of directors, Steve Harris, who is our chairman, Ken O'Leary, vice chairman, Tim Berger, treasurer, myself as secretary, Leslie Brady, Floyd Miller, and Ed Nolan. From the supervisory committee, Dave Moulton, chairman, Ron Reagan, secretary, Tom Reichert, Jim Sidman, and Debbie Simmons. From the transition committee, Lee Allen, Linda Benoit, Sam Henderson, Brenda Homley, Stephen Klein, and Larry Rowan. Now I'd like to introduce the management team who will do such a great job all year round for our members and for our credit union. First of all, Susan Langley, President, Michelle Miller, Compliance Operation Manager, Nancy Prising, Loan Manager, Darlene Montgomery, Collection Supervisor, Jackie Harrison, Account Representative, Philomena Iolucci, our Account re Representative, Angel Langerfeld, our bookkeeper, Joanne Yoder, account representative, Angela Noir, Houston account representative, Kathy Facek, Houston account representative, Marilyn Petty, Orlando account representative, and Luz Rivera, our Orlando part-time representative. We'd like to also recognize among the staff that Philomena Iolucci is celebrating her 10 years uh, as a member of the credit union staff, and we congratulate her, as well as Darlene Montgomery, who celebrates her silver anniversary, 25 years this year. And Darlene, uh, we appreciate all you've done for us as well. These individuals worked extremely hard this year with the challenges that came with the coronavirus, and they all exceeded our expectation for you and our membership. They also strive to improve the services offered by the credit union and to make the credit union more responsive to you. Since we're doing the meeting virtually this year, I thought I'd go through our procedure for tonight's meeting. First of all, we've established a quorum and this uh, was done uh, via an electronic roll call at the beginning of the meeting. Assignment of the floor to seek recognition by the chair. A member shall send a chat message to the host regarding recognition by the chair. Once recognized by the chair, your microphone will be unmuted. The question and answer feature will be used to make que take questions and comments. Please submit any questions or comments you have using that Q&A feature. A member who intends to make a motion or request that under the rules may interrupt a speaker shall use chat feature for so indicating and shall thereafter wait a reasonable time for the chair's uh, instructions for before attempting to interrupt the speaker by voice. And finally, once a motion is on the floor, the poll feature will be used to record and display the votes. I will now read the minutes of the last annual meeting, unless there is a motion to dispense of it. Are there any additions or corrections to the minutes? Steve Harris will now give the chairman's report. Steve?
Tim Berger will now give the Treasurer's Report. Tim? Now Dave Moulton will give the Supervisory Committee Report. The Loan Officer's Report will be presented by Nancy Pricing. Nancy? The next order of business is to elect individuals to fill the vacancies on the board and supervisory committees. A nominating committee was formed by the board and has nominated individuals for these various positions. Voting will be done by secret ballot and the ballots will be destroyed at the conclusion of today's meeting. This year's slate will have two openings on the board of directors and one on the supervisory committee. They need to be filled. Now I will proceed with the slate. Both slates will be presented in alphabetical order. First, the Board of Directors. We will be electing two directors. The nominees are Leslie Brady for a three-year term and Kenneth O'Leary for a three-year term. At this time, the floor is open for further nominations. If none, and, and we'll proceed, I will accept a motion to close the nomination. Thank you. Now let's proceed to the election of one member to the Supervisory Committee, and the nominee this year is Ron Reagan for a three-year term. At this time, I will open the floor for further nominations. If there are none, I'll accept a motion to close the nominations. Is there any additional business to be brought to the floor of the annual meeting? Any questions from the floor virtually? Okay, I'd like to thank you again for being with us tonight. Here's a couple final announcements that I'd like to share with you. First of all, I'd like to recognize the credit union staff again for their many contributions to making this meeting successful. It's our first ever virtual annual meeting, and I suspect that it will not be our last. We welcome you to stay around and chat uh, via Zoom or however you'd like to get a hold of us. And please keep in touch with us throughout the year with any questions or suggestions that you may have. I will now accept a motion to adjourn the meeting. The meeting is adjourned.